Hey guys, it's your girl, Crystal Nicole. So, if you guys haven't heard, Kenneth Petty has now sued the state of New York because he claims that he never got his right to due process to challenge the risk level that had been assigned to him because of that 1994 case. So, what is this all about? And what perfect timing, right? So if we go do a little bit of research on this, we will see that back in 1998, a lawsuit had been filed in the state of New York by the Legal Aid Society on behalf of all persons who were convicted of S-word offenses and required to register under the S-word Offender Act. A federal court judge named Denny Chen had ruled that registered S-word offenders had been assigned risk levels without receiving proper due process of law due process means a fair hearing which a person must receive before being given a risk level and subjected to community notification now there were some letters that were sent out to all of these people who had the opportunity to be able to fight their risk levels and kenneth petty happened to be one of them now the problem is is that Kenneth was incarcerated when this settlement was passed and he was incarcerated when this letter was sent to him. The letter was apparently sent to the wrong address and then had his signature forged on it. And then a response was sent to the court saying that he would not be attending so this is what the lawsuit is all about now kenneth can prove that he was incarcerated at the time which proves his right to a fair trial to have his level lowered now if kenneth's level is lowered to a level one s word offender registrant then kenneth will be removed from the offender registry list because in New York you only have to be on that list for 20 years as a level one s-word offender and he's been on there for 27. Now if they cannot remove him for whatever reasons he will no longer have to report his address and all of that other information that level two and level three offenders have to report to the public which is still a very good thing. Now, a lot of people, which I find interesting, thought that this is the reason why Kenneth had waited to register to begin with, because he didn't want Nikki's address to have to become a part of the registry. Now, all of that is just allegedly, but I would say that actually kind of makes sense, given this new lawsuit that he has now filed. Now, although it did cause him to get a case of failing to register, which by the way, <laughs> I failed to mention this before, but Jennifer huff's friend the alleged victim of kenneth petty's she's the one who alerted the police about the fact that kenneth hadn't registered this is how he even got pulled over arrested and this came up in the first place in november now this has nothing to do with the lawsuit with jennifer ho huff although it is very horrible timing <sighs> so here's an important thing to note about this this right here was all Kenneth had to do to be removed from the registry legally. There was no need for him to attempt to try to get a recant statement from Jennifer. And I'm going to assume that he just found out through his failing to register case that he was even allowed to fight this, which is why he's just now doing it after accepting a plea for only probation. So that explains the timing on all of this. And no matter how you feel about him, everyone has a right to a fair trial, including the previously convicted. So, what was I about to say? So, he has every right to do this right now if he so chooses. Now, given all the contradictions concerning this story coming from Jennifer Ho herself and her attempting to recant more than one time, I'm sure this trial will go a lot differently than in 1994. So let's just see how this all plays out. Now, with that being said, I want to thank all of those who tuned into this video. I want to send a special shout out to all of those who stayed around until the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.